guys so right now I just packed up my bag we're gonna hop on a scooter and we're just we're just gonna go just gonna go see a little bit of what is around here I think later on in the video I'm generally gonna talk about this is gonna be the thing the first trip in a while just by myself that I'm gonna also record I want to take you on an adventure just you and me let's go Good, good morning. Right now, from a busy village in Indonesia, there's rice fields, there's a tea plantation, I'm looking into the farm. So yesterday, I left the city that I'm right now in, the, based out of in Indonesia, Bandung. Just pack my little bag, just the basics, you know, maybe a toothbrush, sometimes I even forget it, honestly. <laughs> and, uh, you know, just some clothes to change. Actually, right now, wearing a jacket most of the time is really warm, but I'm really elevated right now. There is mountains, there is nature, there is some type of crater, and the goal is going to be to spend some time with yourself, to figure some questions out, and also I want to share with you a little bit the story. When I, when I started out to build this lifestyle of living location independently, of traveling, Sometimes you just have the courage to go by yourself and I'm just going to explore a little bit. I'm going to take you around and maybe later going to do a cut and we're going to talk about that topic as well. Okay guys, to speak a little bit about where I'm staying, it's actually a nice guest house. It was one of the most affordable ones. I even wanted to stay at a place that's not going to be that great, but actually it ended up to be quite nice, super nice view. It's a very simple room, you know? and. I like to do that, not just from an approach of like, oh yeah, it's you know fairly affordable or whatever. I like to do it from an approach of like, you probably watch my videos and sometimes, especially in the last year, there's some really cool spots and it's easy to get desensitized to just like outside experiences and then it just becomes your new normal and you become, it's kind of like the hedonic treadmill. You adapt all the time to whatever you're used to. And that's why I like sometimes to just maybe stay in a tree house with like maybe not even flowing water every once in a while or just like this, do a trip by myself, just have like whatever, just a little nice bed for like what is it, like seven dollars a night or something. It was actually quite cold tonight. I'm like, I was about to say like, oh, it was not cold, it was cold. And that's also like a very big concept in stoicism. There's this concept of every once in a while, just like go for a few days or maybe a few weeks at the lowest means you can get by. And I really like to do that at least. At least, I would say, every other month, do a little bit of a trip like that. Nothing fancy, nothing crazy, just driving around, just nature, water. Looks like I made it to the main road here, but either it's closed right now or it's always closed. And I heard also you have to pay a good bunch to get in. So we're gonna go for an adventure. Pretty much at the end of it, it's supposed to be a very touristic site. It's like very developed. Usually I don't really like that. You know, it's like you're not really exploring. You're just going to where you're told to. You're just hey guys, short stop over. Somehow I found the road through the parking lot. Just drove in on the other side. Nobody was there. Gate was open, so. early birding there's literally nobody yet here this is a very developed let's say area they have an entrance area they have a ticket spot but literally there was nobody there so i strolled in here and this lake used to be known actually as kind of like an enchanted spot a spot of mystery but actually it's pretty much connected to the volcanic activities
there's some wildlife in there so right now we're gonna be heading up to the viewpoint let's see how long it's gonna take okay guys so the hike is definitely very very easy actually it's already very elevated here so it has been getting really cold when I was driving up now the Sun starts to come out and overall you know they developed the whole path so not sure we'll see how long it's gonna take but just walking through here you know hearing the birds feeling the Sun on the skin I think I made it uh, just you know connecting with nature and there we are that's the viewpoint Wow Wow guys, seriously, not gonna lie, I didn't expect that. I was down there, I was like, yeah, it's whatever. But this view from here is for real one of the most beautiful views I've ever seen. And you know, I pride myself on climbing every mountain I see, almost. This is unbelievable. Wow, seriously. And then these mountains, there's just so many layers, like 10, 20 layers of mountains. Bit of a little fog. And the craziest part is on this side, you have the greenery from the tea plantations. I've heard they have amazing tea plantations around the area of Bandung. And I saw a few, but that is completely next level. Okay guys, it's been around an hour, maybe even two at this point, just up here. Nobody came up. Down there actually, it's starting to fill up a little bit. Look at this. But on that note, I also wanted to talk to you about this topic that I probably teased on a little bit is, why am I out here today by myself? Especially most of my travel videos, I am with my girlfriend Bianca. And in today's video, I also want to talk about the fact of, like, I think some people might be curious. How is it to travel with someone all the time? How is it to be with someone all the time? You know, if you travel all the time together, if you have a, let's say, significant other, if you have a girlfriend, boyfriend, you know, if you go on a vacation, it might get heated. You're not used to being in the small space all the time. And also there's this thing that very often you cannot really, if you have a bad day, if you're maybe a little bit angry for no reason, I've been losing a little bit my focus, I've been losing a little bit my certain groundedness, my certain assertiveness in the sense of I wake up and I go about my day, I know what I wanna do, I know how to get on top of my game, I am going after what I want. And I have to honestly say that I haven't been on top of that too much. And a big part of it is also just spending a lot of time together and also getting into like a little bit like nagging each other, like nothing big. We're doing well and maybe at some point I'm also gonna do a video with Bianca, but it is also very important for me to share with you that, you know, behind the scenes, like most people think it's the dream life to travel, but uh, at this point, luckily, it is my job and I work every day like a crazy person. I shoot, I edit, I also shoot different type of videos and I think I'm gonna dive into this topic a little bit deeper on my second channel. I used to upload a lot of videos talking about these topics, going very deep, sharing things that are maybe not necessarily very politically correct. Some people, most people honestly, we usually don't ask us these questions too much, too much and I have to admit that I haven't been asking it. And I think a big part of just building something in your life and especially also being creative, you have to sometimes have this empty space where you don't talk, where you don't 
where you're not surrounded by other people and you know if you travel with someone obviously whenever you go to a nice place like that you want to take the other person with you you want to share it with them these beautiful places but honestly if you have ever been on a vacation be it with friends or you know with, with your girlfriend or whatever you know you like if you're gonna be honest there's been moments you're at an amazing spot when you're just a grumpy cat you're not feeling too great you know <laughs> and then you're like nah, i'm here on this roof and like on this viewpoint you know it happens and that is also the behind the scenes of many travel videos you have a drone shot you stand there like ah oh, ah oh, my life is so epic but actually behind the scenes you're fighting with your girl because you're setting up the shot and she doesn't like her selfie and like you know but like really not to misunderstand this this trip really comes from a place of i actually even wanted to take her really with me but i but i know that sometimes you have to go out and also the other thing is i think it's extremely important to maintain certain things that are just for yourself be it certain morning walks be it a hobby like for me the gym i like to help her out with working out i like to help like make it easier for her take her to the gym but honestly the gym is my temple so most of the time i go there by myself even beyond that I, I see just how many guys fall into the trap of wanting to do everything with their girl and why that is beautiful why that is couple goals on instagram in reality i think in a healthy relationship especially if you're a bit more ambitious especially if you want to do a bit more in life if you have that certain hunger it's extremely important to if you're a person like that to create your space to think to cool down to not because otherwise otherwise the thing is if you're not gonna do that it's gonna be very easy to become resentful towards the other person yeah so I don't want to turn this channel it's still a travel video too much into let's say a relationship advice video but I think right now I'm actually gonna film a full one on a second channel and um, maybe I'm just gonna continue talking right now maybe you're gonna find the same thing on my second channel just a little bit more extended head over there but for right now I think what I'm gonna be actually doing is I'm gonna um, I'm gonna probably sit down read a bit on a book it's getting more windy here this truly like down there is getting really busy I don't know if it's worth just to come down there just to see the sulfur lake it's cool but this viewpoint you really also feel the elevation here <sighs> like really right now feeling quite connected to nature there's humongous bugs flying around here I hear some giggling from downstairs and that's also like with me I have to say I'm fairly introverted in the sense that I recharge when I'm by myself and I think a big part of it is also self-awareness so I would say right now this part is gonna be for the second channel so check it out and um, you are like on the weekend trip yes nice is Hi. It, is your first time here huh? first time first time for you yes yes you yeah, yeah first time <laughs> Sick. You live in Bandu? Uh, no, I, I live all over the world. <laughs> My name is Danny. My name is Raihan. Nice Rayhan? to meet you. Nice to meet you, man. You're by yourself? No? With my friend. Your friends are slow, yeah? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's a nice viewpoint. Yes. All restless minds, incompatible different signs. So we had to read between. Now I would say the basic gist of the mindset video that I just uh, finished for the second channel is next to the topic of just very important to keep your own things, your own hobbies, your own time of the day, keep some room for creativity. It's generally building up the courage over time to go by yourself, especially if you have, let's say, a higher level of ambition, especially if you want to build a more extraordinary life. Reality is most of the time people are not gonna join you the people around you maybe later on they will but I think everybody found themselves in the place before and that was the beginning of all my travels of all my different ventures that I knew it I have to do myself and very often even if people say like oh yeah we're gonna do it together usually you have to find out then the hard way that especially in the beginning it's a lonely road but the thing is it's not really lonely because no matter where you are there's always people like I just met especially if you go your true authentic path that's where like-minded people stumble along on that note let's hit the right fields freaking amazing is this place in the middle of a humongous tea plantation with my freaking helmet on. I'm gonna pack up the camera.
probably the last time you saw me was with nice music flying off into the rice fields, everything beautiful, everything great. And it was, but guys, I recorded mostly with my phone. The roads have been super, super rough. At some point, I got completely lost. I was already one way in, no GPS, no signal, no nothing. Then luckily the blue dot on my phone showed up and I, at the end of the day, found my way. But here's a few clips. And so after riding in there for half an hour, finally made it out. Those are the type of roads I want to get on. I think back there, it's a more busy one somewhere. Let's go. Really, it was a bit edgy. There was nobody. I haven't seen anyone for like an hour or two. Then there were like some small villages. It took me overall like two to three hours to go through there, but that's the adventure. Because overall, the most, most parts of the areas are very like busy, touristically also developed, a lot of cafes everywhere, so if you're gonna come, don't worry, it's not like a wild place. But I got the adventure I was looking for, so for now we're gonna head back, gonna meet my girl back at home, gonna see what she was up to. We got the adventure we have been looking for. something super nerdy I'm just randomly stopping by kind of like a fish an animal market and you know what wow these are huge so as a little side fact a little side note when I was in my early teens, around 12, 13, my grandpa he always used to be into aquaristics, so fishes, aquariums, and I kind of like inherited it from him. I had a few, and then at some point they started to make like a lot of babies, so I put it out on the internet. I found some other people who also kind of like breed fish. I bought fish off of them, and then I kind of like built a little bit of an aquaristic business at some point. I think in best times I was selling like 50 to 100 fish a month between like a euro and three euros so I was making like around 150 to 200 euro at the age of 12 13 and that actually made me a few grand over the years and that was like one of my few first bigger side hustles so just walking around there it kind of like brings up memories and just you know for everyone who wants to do something there's a lot of ways that just like go out buy stuff flip stuff on eBay and the most random things like you know have an aquarium and sell fishes to be some of my favorites really nice used to be the ones I used to be dealing with. Had a bunch of those, all of these goofies. Nice. Be my main fish. King of the sweet water. Discus. Beautiful fish. Alrighty guys, I'm an absolute mess. Two hours later, Bianca should be there somewhere like there in a fancy cafe where else can be moving right now. Oh, I'm fried. Civilization. Hi. Good? I miss you so much. Leaving our guest house. I don't want to be here. So I tell us, here. what have you been up to while I was gone? I filmed the whole house tour. I filmed really? the snack and edit the street food. Wow, I should leave you more often, you'll be more productive. <laughs> awesome. Look at our owner. Beautiful people. Just like us. Okay. <laughs> Go subscribe to Bianca's channel, she's busting out super raw content, how she's eating snacks and... Indonesian snacks. Her videos are... Alrighty guys, we just called. The taxi, I cleaned up a little bit. We're gonna be moving to a hotel. I think I'm gonna show you that in the next video. That's my car, I guess. Yeah, that's our car, I guess. Recording. There we go. Okay. See you guys again for As always, I'm moving with the scooter. We're gonna catch up with them. <laughs> Let's see.
so we pull up the window. What does it say? Good morning, Danny. Time to stay in bed. Go out, explore. Oh. Two options. A or B. Yeah, I guess we do go out. It's like hustle, hit the gym, fight with Bianca. That's that's the usual list. <laughs> yeah. I guess wrap up this video. Guys, seriously, I feel like I've been gone for like freaking two weeks. <sighs> Rad like a crap. That was me getting lost today in the rice fields. Wait until you're gonna see this video, seriously. Tea plantation. Rice fields. Uh, yeah, tea plantation, whatever, I'm sure they're... He look exhausted when he come back. And uh, yeah, let's, let's go up to the rooftop here. We're at the Moxie Hotel, so we've been staying at uh, this nice guest house I showed you in the last video for almost two weeks. It looks like I'm moving in every video, but actually, like, I just tried to like include like one place each video. <sighs> Guys, what the change of scenery! So, oh yo, yeah. <laughs> okay, guys, they have kind of like a floating island here. Seriously, so just yesterday I've been inside of a rice field this morning I've been like on the sickest viewpoint and this is like always at those times where I don't understand why it felt to you like I was gone for a week. You were... Yeah. No, I just sneeze. <laughs> we're gonna go there together again. Okay. Probably. Mm -hmm. Or somewhere even better. Let me know how you liked today's video. It was a bit more connected to a topic. You know, the topic of also kind of like having to have your own space and sometimes even if you're all the time together just going by yourself doing your own thing and the full video as i mentioned will be on the second channel let me know if you like this format kind of like makes a bit of a travel adventure as well as just some thoughts let me know how you enjoyed the talk if you can relate if you have been in a similar situation you can drop it down in the comments or for that matter of fact you can drop down anything in the comments like your favorite movie what you had for breakfast it really helps out with the algorithm also if you leave a thumbs up and all the other like begging things that youtubers do at the end of videos but it does really help out and so far the Indonesia series have been a lot of fun I wanted to switch it up go I wanted to have an adventure and also I think we're gonna do the videos a little bit longer so they're just you know just to sit down and I want to take you on these experiences with me adventure opportunity most importantly freedom so this was definitely one of those for the adventure and i think in the next video i'm gonna break down the city i'm gonna break down where you can sit down have good wi-fi have nice coffee able to work nice places to stay and overall the city of bandung extremely extremely underrated especially now that i know what is around it just an hour from here you can get like the full load of nature adventure it's raw it's real but at the same time you have such a cool city right here so on that note until next time Around six years ago, I realized that there is so much more beyond the borders of what you're familiar of. Got a world to see was born, and it is all about living and traveling through different countries, all under the premise of finding more. More opportunity, more adventure, more freedom.